Praise God. It's a blessing to come your way once again. This is Reverend Anaya Abafoboni from Eagles Network International Ministry. We have been discussing how to hear the voice of God. And one of the mediums by which the Holy Spirit ministers to us, I call it the language of the Spirit. It's the language of dreams, visions, trances, and divine encounters. You must be open to dreams and visions. In fact, one of the cardinal signs of the presence of the Holy Spirit, besides speaking in tongues, the Bible says, is actually dreams and visions. In Joel chapter 2 verse 20, it said, In the last days I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. You know, then it says that your sons and daughters, they will prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. So one of the ways by which God will communicate to us is through the language of dreams and visions. In fact, in Job 33 verse 15, the Bible says that in dreams and visions, when men are slumbering upon their bed, God brings us instructions from the realm of the spirit and seals it up for us in our hearts and in our spirits. He said the purpose is that he will deliver man's soul from the pit and from the place of destruction. So one of the cardinal ways by which God will speak to you, direct you, and he will bring his voice clearly to you. Is through dreams and visions. In fact, in First Kings chapter three, in verse one, after Solomon had finished his sacrifice um, on the on, 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 on the high place, the Bible said that in the night God came to him in the vision of the night, and He spoke to him and asked him what He would have him to do for him. In fact, that is how Solomon became the wisest man through that particular dream. God gave him wisdom. He spoke to him and said, "From today, wisdom, and I'll give your enemies into your hands, and I'll give you prosperity and wealth." And he became perhaps the richest king in his day and in his time. Ladies and gentlemen, don't just lie on your bed and sleep as a believer. As you are going to bed today, pray and tell God, as I sleep, speak to me. Seal up my instruction. Bring me guidance. Let your voice come through to me in a dream and in a vision. And I pray that he will send you a direction about a backing situation, about a business idea, about many job offers that are before you, about three or four guys who are proposed. I don't know what to do, but he will speak to you in a dream. He will speak to you in a vision. And you will know what to do. May the Lord honor your step by a dream by a vision. May your spirit be open to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Have a fantastic week and God richly bless you.